happen to have cigarettes on you too, Courtney. Remember that <laughs> theater people like to smoke. I you have know? them in my car. Offered... Oh, okay. <laughs> I did not bring tobacco and whiskey. You know well, wait, that yeah, back... Ah, see, there you what? go. They want a what? tobacco. They want they want a cigarette. They're like, wait, you gotta. The yeah. restless, yeah. Yeah. Every and actor I know just wants a shot and oh Adelucy? my gosh. Who wants okay. a Lucy? Ask him who wants a, a lucky strike. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is the turn of the century brand uh, cigarette uh, that they would know? I I would think the first one would be uh, um, uh, Colgate. No, no, not Colgate. That's a toothpaste. What? Is that a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the meter is going off. Okay. Anybody want go to go stage? Yeah, go up on the stage right. and then exit I'll either. The, I'm going to turn the lights off. Yeah. Oh, boy. I... All right. Anyone here with me in the beautiful Palace Theater? I've so enjoyed your performance and I'd like to buy you a round if you'll join me. King. Oh. I'm hearing Manny. I'm hearing something back there. What is that? I heard footsteps. All right, can you guys Man see? in black to the left. Um, a woman said she wants you to come next door to eat. Um, someone's panicked by you on stage. Somebody said their partner, uh, the act falling in front of the audience. Um, they're worried about falling. falling. Yeah. Courtney? I feel like there's something behind me. Pour out a couple of drops for it. Just pour it, pour a couple little drops of the whiskey out for them. Yeah. I, well, the I don't want to put it. So there's a rug here. <laughs> yeah. Don't pour it on the rug. Oh, they've had worse spilled. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I, um, have a, I have a, just for transparency, this is what it came in. I'll pour it out for that in that. Okay. All right, everyone. All the wonderful performers, this one's for you. I toast you and your wonderful performance. Um, oh my gosh. Yes. yes. Wow. Wow. That's exactly what we want. Ask them if they'll do an encore if you give them another drink. Oh, yes. Will you? We Ooh. would love to hear an encore or see an encore. Would you be so kind if I were to buy you another drink? What's that sound? Is that just my speakers or did anybody else hear that? I, I heard, heard that. Mm -hmm. What was that? Look at your meter. The Somebody's meter. dog just started barking at home. So their dogs oh, is that what we're hearing? Oh, yeah. No, no, that's not what we heard. This is someone in the comments. They said their dog is watching this and started barking. There's yeah, a man they, with you, a man to your left. Yeah. That's yeah. why I keep feeling like someone is behind me. Yeah, Mickey for sure. Like yeah. that, Haley Castellano's picking up on the man, man in black. Now, Tammy, oh. I understand you worked at the uh, Chaplin Theaters on La Brea. So mm -hmm. you have a connection to uh, a theater uh, historical past. What was that like? It was very interesting. I mean, that's how I got into the very like into paranormal, into the paranormal because I am a theater baby and I'm still working as a costume designer in theater. I worked out of a school in Hollywood that was the location of the Charlie Chaplin production company. So we still have the bungalows where he built his house and next door was the Charlie Chaplin Theater. We had a lot of activity that would occur in our theater, which just so happened to be right next door to his former bungalow. Mm -hmm. And we would see, uh, there was a story where we were doing a show and it was a dress rehearsal and the director was in the audience and there was a scene where an actor was delivering a monologue and no one was supposed to be on stage or backstage, but she kept on seeing a man in a hat and she was yelling at the stage manager over the walkie, over her headset. She's like, who the effing mother of F is backstage? No one should be backstage. This is a pivotal monologue. No one should be there. And the manager's like, there's no one backstage. All the actors are getting ready for uh, the next scene in the green room. And wow. so, yeah, it was crazy. I Like, I'm getting goosebumps telling it. It would be little things, too, that would happen. I know that they turned the backstage 
stage of that uh, theater into smaller offices for our faculty and faculty members would have things move in their office uh, oh. go missing yeah keys would go missing yeah things of importance would just be moved in different places so it was really interesting and not only that the security guards after hours they would see on camera what looked like a man in a suit and a hat walking on the premises no. and that was very eerie yeah that's eerie yeah, wow. and that's, how, <laughs> that's the place on La Brea at La Brea. If you're in Los Angeles, DeLong, yeah, DeLong Free, which is now the current uh, in, in La Brea. The uh, yeah, oh yeah, which is the Jim Henson Studios right now. So. Right, it's not Kermit the Frog dressed as <laughs> yeah, Charlie it's Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin. You could still yeah. see him, and yeah. that studio also has a lot of crazy activity. So it's just a plethora of energy there. You know, it's it's we have Fantastic. the theater and the uh, Jim Henson Studios, which has like a bunch of activity that goes on. Courtney? Yes. You're looking terrified. What What's going on all of a sudden? <laughs> well, so when I was walking to go get the mirror, I was yeah. thinking to myself, I mean, I was trying to hype myself up really, but <clears throat> I was like, oh, it's not so bad. Theaters are supposed to be dark, right? Like, because I'm walking through like the, where you would be sitting to watch the show on stage. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, okay, I feel okay about this. I feel okay. And then I picked up the mirror and I was like, oh my God, don't bring this on stage. Don't bring this on stage. Don't bring this on stage. And that eerie stillness is back. But. No. Oh God. So a uh, couple of things I want to tell you. Uh, a lot of times like that, that, that feeling that you have with all the lights off, a lot of theaters have a ghost light. Yeah. Single ball. Is- at the stage and there's different theories about why it's called a ghost light but one of them is so that people don't fall and bump into stuff and kill themselves another is that it's so that the spirits who perform there and left their energies there that they still have the spotlight when they want to perform <laughs> everybody's not there so um it's interesting you bring up the light uh i don't know if that's Haley, helping or hurting david but yeah, I, I, i'm already terrified I want to tie in one other theater superstition if you're up for it, Courtney. I'm uh, always up never, for it, David. They say you never whistle in a theater. Oh, God. And That's the right. reason for that, when they had the sandbags to pull the curtains and things like that, the stagehands would communicate with a whistle. And if somebody whistled, they might drop the bag at the wrong time and it might kill somebody in the theater. Right, because those sandbags were 50 to 75 pounds mm-hmm. and could snap your neck. If you so are, I, get up nice day, yeah. I just so get have up a horrible thing. sinking feeling in my stomach mm-hmm. as you were talking, talking about that. Cause I'm okay. Well, I'm not directly uh-huh. under any of the things that are above, but um, yeah, we can whistle. If you well, can get a stage with the mirror and whistle, John starts picking up on a woman entangled in the stage, hoisting ropes for the front of the stage. She's both stabbed oh, and she's blood dripping from her. Now, here's oh, something interesting. When I was talking to the owner of the theater, he said that there was a stabbing that took place at the theater, um, that it, it was during one of the vaudeville performances. I don't know the details, but th- this might be drawing them out too. Okay, well, anyone who's here, <clears throat> come on stage with me. You're welcome to come on stage. You can take my energy and use it and give us a sign. Show us that you're here. Make a sound that we all can hear. <laughs> what? Whoa. What? what was that? No, that did not just happen. I heard that. No, What's going dude. On? <laughs> What's going on? You're spiking. It's, you're spiking. It's that red. man. Looking. I'm looking. Where was oh. that coming from? It's that man. It's that I just man. Thought I said and I... every swear word. I'm crying. Can you see the tears in my eyes? Like, yeah. What? People see movements. People saw movement behind you too. There's something back there. Yeah. I'm, oh my God. It's that man. It's a. It's, it was, I'm looking at the comments and they're, and they're saying it's probably that man that's in black. It's, the argument, it's an argument happening. I I think that it reignited the argument. Oh. It reignited an argument that happened there before. Whiskey, you can whiskey calm the something? argument though? Seriously. Or is whiskey going to make it worse? Look at how whiskey hard you're shaking right now. Yeah. That Good was point. so loud. Point, whiskey makes you mean. Courtney, go ahead. So Where are this you? This is like the backstage kind of area. I left yeah. these lights on just so I could see what I was doing on stage. 
But yeah. this is where the sound came from. And I thought, I don't know what I thought was going to be back here, but like I thought maybe there was a door. But now I remember that these walls are like three, six feet thick. So this, that oh, wasn't wow. an outside sound. That had to have come from like here. Like right where those speakers are. Yeah. So it wasn't, what you're saying is it came from within the theater. There's no way it was the next door. Right. Because the cement wall is three to but six Can I thick. test that out? Because I want to see like. Yeah. That's what it was. What is that? 